Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look inside the box of Avionics Resin Cockpit Seat for the FA-18F for the Hasegawa kit. Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Avionics FA-18F Superbug resin cockpit set for the Hasegawa kit. Now this is for the lot 26 and up, so the modern avionics. And BLC 48008 is the number. Now quick history lesson, um, avionics is actually black box productions. They were bought out by, I have one here, so you might recognize these kind of packages. So basically they were bought out by Squadron, and um, avionics is a Squadron brand. And um, yeah, so if you have one of these, it's exactly the same as this kit, pretty much, I imagine. What we'll do is we'll look inside this kit and then we'll do a quick comparison with the black dog, black box, sorry, and um, see how it compares. So let's take a look. So I should learn my lesson. These, I always try to open it this way, <laughs> all sides, I never do it. You actually open it from the bottom. I, was, I forgot to mention too, this is 48 scale. Okay, so. That's the resin parts, and you have a piece of paper, a photocopy, just one sided, and it gives you basically the instructions, very kind of crude instructions of how it all goes together. And it's actually some really nice um, color call outs for the seats. This is probably a NACES SJU 17, I imagine, if it's um, for a Hornet. Cool, put that to the side, and here's what you get. So you get a couple of bags. It's had the bigger parts in there. So you have the resin. Um, it feels, just my hand, it feels very oily. So if you get, if it does feel like this, you might want to think about definitely um, giving a quick bath and soapy water first. Um, there's the main tub. I'm looking, it looks nice. Um, decently molded, although not fantastically molded. The tub and I actually have a um, the kit behind me too, so we can do a quick test fit as well. Um, again, obviously you got sand off bottom part here. I have a cheap hobby electric belt sander and it works great. So you, rather than use a normal hand sander, you just push it up and it just gets rid of it in seconds. So here's the part of the front. So it goes on up here. We have the two seats. They look very chunky. Um, I'm guessing that's maybe like a sheepskin kind of um, backing or something on them. But just off the top of my head, just from first glance, it looks like that little chunky. But so there's your um, your Nasus seat SJU 17s. Can you get a pair? Obviously two seater being the F variant. I do like these resin seats where have the um, seat belts molded in. I just prefer that. I know people like them separate or photo etch. For me, I just like I, I just like paint them in all in one piece. I just find that the, the best. Um, so seats, obviously, just again, you got to get rid of the block at the bottom. But they'll just sit sit in here like that. Okay, we've done the seats. And like the instrument coning, coning over the panel, the instrument panels. Couple of side panels. One of the instrument panels, very nicely detailed. Again, I, I built this zoomed in. Like that panel I just showed you, that size of my thumbnail. So you're looking. This is 48 scale, so you are looking pretty close up with this stuff. So it's really nicely detailed for the scale. Then this bag is a bunch of little things. So, well, this one's not so little. We have the. Another instrument panel. I think that's for the front seat. I wanted to show you for the back seat. Um, then these are like pedals. Now I don't know about you, but you never ever ever see rudder pedals, so I won't go too much hassle trying to get these really nicely done because under the model, unless you're going to take the cockpit apart or whatever, you're not going to see it. Like the control stick. I'm 
again super tiny couple of parts there, I'm not sure exactly what they're for but looking at the instructions oh, you know, that's for the HUD, that's for the HUD which I don't see any plastic for a um, couple more control sticks again, you see how teeny tiny these guys are and finally this looks like the HUD Okay, so it's like a molded resin piece for the HUD itself, the structure. Well, the camera's doing a good job trying to focus. It's Again, these are tiny. Um, that completes it. That's it. Um, so, I'm compare it to the black box, but first of all, let me just get the kit real quick. And we're talking about this kit here. If I just zoom out real quick. This has a Gower kit is what it's for, the EF version, which is, I think it's 38, PF38, PT38. So, this all, here's the actual kit part. As always, there's always surgery involved in this kind of stuff, but let me just hold it against it and see. I mean, right off the bat, that doesn't seem a good, a bad fit at all, does it? A little work needed, but generally, you know, it fits in pretty nice. And just to show you the difference in the kit one. Here's the kit top. Plants of resin one. I mean, you see a difference in detail and stuff, right? So let's compare this now to the black box one, the old school one. Now bear in mind this is for the Re the Re Revell monogram kit, so it's going to be slightly different in terms of shape and stuff, I imagine. But it's overall, you know, the features and stuff going to be the same. So the first thing is this is a black box black box instructions, and you can see the seat and how it kind of looks. Let me zoom out a little bit, and then hold it up to the avionics. Huh, guess what? It looks very similar, right? Very similar indeed. Now, I don't like this kind of color plastic. It's a little garish, but this is a black box holding up against the avionics. It's coming, obviously coming from the same molds and stuff. I am looking around and it seems identical. In matter of fact, this is very slightly molded, a little bit crisper. Again, I'm not going to see, sure if, how much you can see on here. Let me look at the side walls, see if you can make a difference on there. The camera's going to try its best, but again, this is, you know, pretty detailed stuff we're looking at. Not much in it, but happy to say that the newer stuff is a little bit crisper molded. Um, comes in the same pack, two seats again. Um, Again, this is a little crisper molded. Exactly the same seats. Molding is identical. And some of the smaller parts. I don't know if I want to get all this out right now, but like the instrument panel is this guy. Again, bear in mind you're looking for the plastic. I don't know if you're much you can see to be honest with you. But very similar in terms of this is very slightly gets the edge. So yeah, cool. I just want to just check that. So as you can see from the instructions, whatever, it, they are exactly the same black box and avionics. That confirms that myth. Um, molding wise, the newer stuff is very slightly better in terms of, very, I mean, when I say better, a little crisper. Um, it's a tiny little bit crisper, but essentially exactly the same. Now, the funny thing about this is, this is for the Rebel monogram kit, this is for the Hasegawa kit. But when I look at the parts, line them up next to each other, they're absolutely identical sized and shaped. So, huh. So I'm guessing, I mean, this would fit in the, if you, this would fit in the Hasegawa kit too. So, yeah, there is any difference to be honest with you. It looks exactly the same. I don't know why them, you'd think they're the same packaging and stuff and, and brand them as the same for two different kits. But anyway, um, all this around here, this texture stuff, you're not going to see that. Don't worry about it. You can probably sand it down anyway. It's going to, this is the main part. You know, it's going to sandwich in a fuse large. You don't gonna see the sides, um, but there you go. So that's an interesting little look at the Avionics, formerly Black Box, FA18F Superbug 
lots 26 and up resin cockpit set for the Hasegawa kit. As always, thank you for watching. This is Richie from Adobe Hobbies, and I'll see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.